To keep a fish pond healthy, we need bacteria. Bacteria are responsible for what's called the nitrogen cycle. Basically, it's a cycle that breaks down harmful compounds that are in the water and creates them into less harmful compounds. Now, to have the bacteria, they need surface area. The easiest way to add the surface area, in my opinion, is to add in rocks and gravel. Uh, these are going to just amplify the amount of space that's available for them to grow on. If you have a bare line of pond, the space just isn't there. Um, you're going to have to create that surface area in filters, that's why you have things like ceramic noodles and bio balls, um, things that you see in common. Aquarium filters, they're used to grow the bacteria on. So a byproduct of the nitrogen cycle or the bacteria breaking down these compounds is going to be uh, nitrates. Now, in an aquarium setting, nitrates are removed by water changes. But in a pond, you know, we're outside, we've got evaporation. We can just use the natural evaporation, but as well um, plants. You know, we can grow a lot of nice plants in a pond. We've got the room to do it. And they're gonna complete that cycle for us. So plants are a must in a healthy fish pond. The next thing you wanna consider is circulating the water. As a general rule of thumb, we're looking to circulate the water once every hour. So depending on what volume the pond is, you want to match it up with a pump that's going to give you at least that kind of circulation per hour. Uh, you can also use an air stone if you wanted to circulate the water through um, by using an airlift pump, that's fine too. But while on the topic of circulation, the, the sort of the best way you can do it is if you have your pump housed in a skimmer box because that's going to pull all debris and stuff into one location where you can easily collect it and remove it from the pond. But also you can have the discharge of the pipe work for the pump on the opposite side of the pond and this, this will create great circulation, a nice cross flow. If you want to have a high number of fish in the pond, you're going to have to upgrade the filtration. Now for me, the best thing you can do is add a bog or a wetland filter. Uh, I've added these on all different size ponds, from little tiny patio ponds right up to my nice big ecosystem ponds. I just love them. They're the best. They incorporate plenty of surfaces for the bacteria and you can grow plants directly in the filter to perfectly round out the nitrogen cycle in one little convenient location. Uh, if you want to learn more about bog and wetland filters, uh, head over to my blog, ozponds.com um, and you can read all about them there. I, I just love them. Hopefully this has been helpful. You can see it's really not difficult to keep your fish pond nice and healthy.